Jamaica, such a beautiful country with beautiful women with beautiful hair. Welcome to my intro. Subscribe. Hi guys, it's Debbie. Welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be uncovering two of Jamaica's hair growth secrets that we have been using for ages. Jamaican women have been seen to have some of the most beautiful, kinkiest and healthiest hair. And as you know by now, with health comes length. The tuna plant is a cactus with not so many thorns. It is used in my country for medicinal and hair growth purposes. I'll be demonstrating two ways in which it is used. First, you will make sure that your tuna is washed and your hands are clean. We will take a knife and we will be removing the edges of this our tuna plant. Of course, before filming, the thorns from the plant was removed. Then you will grab your spray bottle. Of course, in the ancient days, there were no spray bottles, so they used to use jars or some big buckets. Now what you will be doing, which I did very unprofessionally because I was scared of the knife, you will be cutting up your tuna and hold on, as you can see it is a bit slimy like the aloe vera. You will be cutting up your tuna and putting it in your spray bottle. This plant will help to soothe itching, it will strengthen the root of your hair, it will thicken your hair, it will protect your hair follicles, and it is good for natural and relaxed hair. Isn't that great? At this stage, you will add water to fill your jar, your bottle, your spray bottle, whatever it is that you put your tuna in, and you will leave it overnight. And watch what happens when you leave this tuna overnight, guys. It's crazy. The water thickens and looks similar to aloe vera juice. So after leaving it overnight, you can use your tuna water, let's call it tuna water, as a leave-in conditioner or a conditioner. And that's it for our first secret. Let's move on to number two. Jamaicans love natural things. We love our natural juices. We love our natural herbs. And you may even find italists that believe in only natural things. So this, our next secret, is no different from the first. Our next secret still involves our tuna plant, but at its right hand is our aloe vera plant. In my country, this plant is mostly used for its medicinal purposes, as some of us have forgotten the benefits that it has for our hair. I will be demonstrating how we use these two magic plants to grow our hair. Listen, as far as me know, aloe vera and tuna are two first cousin. Either that or them a brother and sister, me convinced. I say that because of their many similarities, but we'll get into that in a minute. To prepare this treatment, as usual, first you have to wash your aloe vera and remove the sides. cut up our aloe vera and put it in a jar now guys the benefits of aloe vera is beyond me aloe vera is a great conditioner great moisturizer it reduces dandruff it treats hair loss and so many more things So you put all your aloe vera in a jar and we will do the same with the tuna plant. To this our jar, we will be adding coconut oil, but in the ancient days they used to use coconut oil and castor oil. Coconut oil will promote faster, thicker, and healthier hair growth. It will also prevent heat damage and it is rich in vitamin E. So pour your coconut oil in your jar and we will be sealing this jar. Make sure that it is full to the brim and if you run over, adjust so. Thank you. 
seal this bottle and store it under the sun for 30 full days. Yes, you have come to the end of this another production by Debbie. I would like to thank you all for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. There you have it, our tuna and aloe vera oil. If you have no question or you want to ask me, just leave it in the comment section and we will make sure, make sure, make sure to reply to you. There you have it, our two hair growth secrets from this little island, Jamaica. And remember, it's health over length, so no stress it.